Hope Ward begins our team coverage tonight live downtown. Hope last Friday it was turned up straight up chaos tonight. A much different story. Yeah, I'm here tonight and I was here last Friday and every those two nights are, are completely uh, different. They and there's a lot of stuff that happened in between that get us to this point tonight on day eight. So we're going to take you back just a little bit going back to that last Friday. And you know, it was a sick. There was a huge peaceful protest and then the night turned with fires and looting and hours long standoff with police. Then Saturday continued with peaceful protests, but it was the first night the Georgia National Guard joined in full force behind APD and the first night of curfew. A couple days later on Tuesday, the largest crowd returned to Centennial since the weekend. And that night, the Georgia National Guard changed their tactic by blocking all roads and funneling anyone breaking curfew into one area. There was a massive amount of tear gas deployed that night. Myself and my photographer got caught in that. Now, the next two nights, no tear gas was used. And after witnessing the tensions of the past few nights, several protesters tried to lighten the mood. At one point on Thursday, protesters invited members of the Georgia National Guard to dance with them right before curfew. And then there's tonight. The Black Lives Matter drum line came out to lift the spirits of protesters. One drummer told me, you know, we're walking, we're talking, so we thought we'd try something else to get people to listen. And later that later tonight, members of Alpha Phi Alpha came out and encouraged the massive crowd to kneel for eight minutes and 46 seconds. The amount of time the knee remained on George Floyd's neck. Today is also what would have been Breonna Taylor's 27th birthday. So protesters said this moment was a reminder of why they've come out here the past eight days. And when curfew approached, it was this woman named Eva who grabbed a bullhorn and led the remaining crowd away from police in a mini march to their cars. And as we've heard every night, no matter what's happened, protesters have said, we're not stopping, we want change, and we will be back tomorrow.